fuel supply in the United States up to 1850 was virtually 100 percent wood. In England, by 1700, trees for fuel had become scarce and people turned to coal. But the coal mines were flooding and there was no good way to pump out the water. Some mines had to be abandoned. In 1712, Thomas Newcomen invented the steam engine specifically to pump water out of coal mines. Up to then, small amounts of power had been supplied by windmills and water power, but these were limited by wind currents and proximity to rivers. Coal and Newcomen's engine provided portable energy for the first time. James Watt's contribution was to greatly improve the efficiency of the Newcomen engine. The mid-1800s was the time of steamboats on the Mississippi River system. To provide fuel, trees were gradually being cut farther and farther from riverbanks. Forests were being depleted to provide fuel, and trees were cut down faster than new ones could grow. The switch to coal, or stored solar energy, began in about 1850, followed by natural gas and oil. The use of what we call today renewable energy declined from 100% to its present level of 7 to 8%, and today is mostly provided by hydropower. The decline occurred for good technical reasons. Renewable energy simply could not supply enough reliable energy. The switch to fossil fuels was beneficial for the environment because it allowed forests in the United States to recover, and today there is more forest than in the late 1800s. It is also interesting to note that slavery ended soon after the switch to fossil fuels.